This one, guys, is a pretty classic probability question. It's not easy. Let's have a look. Question 20. It says Alfie has 11 cards. He has three blue cards, seven green, and one white. We're told that Alfie takes at random two of these cards. We're asked to work out the probability that he takes cards of different colors. How are we going to do it? Well, we're going to need to work out, firstly, the different ways there are to choose two different cards. So we're going to have uh, blue-green. That's one way. Or we could choose blue and white. That's another way. Or the final way, we could choose green and white. So there are three different ways to choose two cards of different colors. The next thing is going to be to work out the probabilities of choosing these combinations. So firstly, what's the probability of choosing a blue card and a green card? Well, firstly, what's the probability of choosing a blue card? The probability of choosing a blue card is 3 out of 11. So we're going to have 3 out of 11. And then we're going to do times by the probability of choosing a green card on the next choice. Well, how many cards are there left now? We've taken one, the blue card, so there's 10 in total. How many green cards are left? It's going to be 7. So we're going to have 3 over 11 times 7 over 10. Top times top is 21. Bottom times bottom is 110. Now, what about the probability of choosing a blue card and a white card? The probability of choosing a blue and then a white, we're going to have 3 over 11 again for the blue, first of all. And then the white is going to be 1 over 10. So that is going to be 3 over 110. And finally, the probability of choosing green and white, we're going to have the probability of green and white is equal to probability of choosing a green 7 over 11 times by our probability of choosing a white on the next one. It's going to be 1 out of uh, 10. For the same reason as before, 7 over 11 times 1 over 10, top times top is 7, bottom times bottom is 110. Adding these together, guys, what are we going to have? 21 plus 3 is 24 plus 7 is 31, so we have 31 over 110. Those of you who know how to do this are going to be thinking, ah, but we're not finished. And they're right, we're actually not finished. Why? Well, we worked out the probabilities of choosing blue then green, blue then white, or green then white. But we didn't account for the fact that there are other ways. We could have actually gone green, then blue, instead of blue, then green. White, then blue, instead of blue, then white. Or white, then green, instead of green, then white. So actually, each of these, we're going to times by two, representing the fact that there's actually two different options associated with that combination. So we're going to multiply our overall probability by two. 31 over 110 times by two. I'll write it down here. 31 over 110 times by two different ways of doing this. I'm just going to times the top by two, 62 over 110. That is going to be our answer to that one. Not sure if you guys can see that. Let me write it again, just to be clear. 62 over 110.